Hey everyone, thank you for checking my channel. In this video, I will walk you through how I draw a traditional tattoo rose. I start the sketch on paper by drawing two circles. The center one slightly upwards. Then I draw a heart-shaped form in between these circles, which will be the center for the rose. Over the light sketch, I start detailing from the center out, since I already can visualize it. Around it some leaves, I like them pretty rounded, so my base is a circle with a sharp triangle. The stamp that comes from the center, for the thorns I make consecutive small circles through the path I want the thorns to be, and later I make some spikes through that path. Time for transfer to the final paper on the light box. I use cold press fine grain arches paper. Normally if I have a dirty sketch I will always first trace the lines on transparent paper before I go for the final paper. Although it's a traditional design I like line variation and this makes me go through several stages of line. First I will go with a pen that's almost empty, so I can have a really light pen sketch, and then I will bold line the parts that I want to stand out. For the final lining, I go all over the lines again with the same pen I had in the beginning, but a pen that's drawing more ink. So now I will start with the black shading. Normally I use a Poshka pen and a brush. And what I do is I put some of the black Posca pen on paper and I will stretch it with water on my brush until it's a mid-tone. I will wash the brush again and then I will stretch it until it's gone. We have a nice gradient. I prefer Posca to do the blacks because I can later go with the watercolor on top of all of this and it will not overlap. The Poshka will always stand out since it's acrylic ink. With the color I will use the same process as I used for the black. I am using Ecoline colors, I'm using a reddish brown, I will use a light orange a yellow ochre and a sepia deep I've been using Ecoline colors for a lot of years because I love how the colors blend together, how vibrant they look and how easy it is to handle the ink.
If you have any suggestions or questions, let me know in the comments. Now it's time to sign this flash and it's ready. Here we have the final result. Hope you liked the video and I'll catch you in the next drawing.